My name is Kara Stowers. I'm a professor in the Department of Chemistry and Biochemistry at Brigham Young University. In my lab, we're interested in studying uh, catalysts and looking at these uh, to find ways to reduce pollution. So a catalyst is any material that's gonna decrease the energy needed for a reaction. And um, we're interested in making these catalysts out of common and expensive metals. Once we synthesize and design these catalysts, we then use them to study how molecules bind to these surfaces, react with other molecules on the surfaces, and then desorb from the surfaces. Um, we're also interested in characterizing the surface sites of these catalysts um, in order to make them better so that the reaction can happen uh, either with more activity or better selectivity for a desired product. I like to work with my hands and working in this lab helps allows me to do that. Um, so I'm able to make catalysts from scratch um, and then test those in our reactors, whether that's in a flow reactor system or a batch reactor system. So one of the molecules we've been interested in studying is carbon dioxide. And we've done a bit of work looking into the capture of that molecule, but we're also interested in how to get it to react to make new products. So um, one of the tools that we use for studying how to get carbon dioxide to react is an ultra-high vacuum chamber. And this is a chamber where we've removed most of the molecules from the inside so that we can isolate specific molecules and look at them on a model catalyst surface. And so, for example, if we wanted to study how carbon dioxide reacts, we would put it into this ultra-high vacuum chamber, um, let it land on a surface, and then study how it breaks apart or reacts with other fragments on the surface. I train my students to be thoughtful, creative, and independent scientists. I see my role as to help them how to ask interesting questions and then teach them how to gather data using um, tools and instruments that we have to answer those questions and then ultimately to help them communicate and present those findings to the scientific community. She put a lot of effort and to teach me how to um, be an independent researcher, a good scientist. And uh, working with Dr. Stowers is not only work with um, like my boss or my mentor, it's more like uh, work uh, with a colleague or uh, close friends and even a family member. Ultimately, if you can make a catalyst work even one to three percent better, then that will yield millions of dollars for industries and also minimizes energy needed, uh, making the process much more effective. Um, optimizing catalysts will also make a difference in terms of our ability to make uh, things that we love to use, things like plastics or foods, um, building materials, uh, in a way that doesn't end up ruining the climate or uh, making it harder for us to breathe.